What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have a Fate Zero character, Gilgamesh, in his armor. So I am on a landscape orientation paper, use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So his head's kind of tilted and he's got this kind of arrogant, kind of winking sort of face going on, right? So a little bit more difficult than straightforward face, but we'll give it our best shot, right? So. Right, we'll start with his eye. Center point to my page is about here. We'll just come up and leave enough room for his hair, right? So his eyelid line, relatively simple. We just go diagonal sort of across here. And it could thicken this up with an extra line just on top, kind of like this. All right, so it's kind of like a fairly straight kind of line, diagonal that way because his head is tilted down, it's not like straight up. So then his iris curves down either side here. And then we have his bottom eyelid underneath. So that'll just go like down this way and back up to here. And then his pupil in the middle, just there. So then we have eyelid line just here and eyebrow just above that. So it curves this way. How far do we go? We go to about here. And then we have a space in his eyebrow that we color brown. So you just draw that in here and it eventually gets skinnier as we go back. There. So his head's tilted, that means the other eye is lower down, right? But you're about eye width across. So the width of his eye come across that much and you're just, you're underneath his eye, right? So it comes down this way, this sort of V shape. Right, like his eye is, you're sort of, he's winking kind of thing. Right? And you want to like thicken this, thicken this up, right? So you'll go. And make it darker as well. Like his eyelashes. And then we have maybe an eyelid line there. And then his eyebrow. So it sort of goes this way. And then it'll come across down to there. And then again, we have a little space that we color in. Just there. So you can see now that diagonal sort of line for his head that way. So then his nose just underneath this eye, right? Because his head is turned away from us. So we curve out a line here, then bring it back down that way. And in fate, we can see a shadow on the side of the nostril or the nose just here. It's just the style. They do noses in this anime. And his mouth kind of open, we can see some of his teeth, but we just do like a line out this way. Kind of comes down the back. And around. And this doesn't close off the other side here, it just stays like that. So we can see sort of a horizontal sort of line going this way. And then his chin. Diagonal, sorry, line. Coming down for his facial features. Chin this way. And we're in three quarter pose. So that means basically you can see the jaw on this side and the side of his face here. Okay. So on this side, right, we'll go up. Like so. 
right? And we meet his cheek here. And it comes around to there. Okay. And then on this side, his jaw goes up here. Right, so then here we can see his earring, big square earring sticking down. There. And this has a circle just above. And then his ear comes out from here. So we'll go up, around. So we'll just go up. into there. Like so, and maybe we can see like some of his earlobe just there with some jaw going into it there. And then we can see bones and ligaments on the inside. So, like a line coming down like so. Comes around there, and around there. Some more sort of lines like that. Not a lot of ear lines in this sort of design. Right, so then his hairline, so the center line for his face is here, right? So we have like the big V that's in the middle of his head, sort of here, and then we have some zigzags that kind of come out from that. And eventually we'll end up going down his head here, all the way down to his ear. Like so. Then we go up the other side, and we go down his head again. Down like so. And then we have hair spikes that stick out the side of his head. Back down. And then we'll gradually go up and then around the back of his head. So. Up, down, down into here and then around underneath his ear. And you can have uh, texture lines and things inside there. So. You don't have to do too many. Like that. You can see his other earring coming out the other side of his head here. And then his neck, so coming down this side and then this side. 
So then in the center of his chest, so we, we're gonna start to see some of his armor now, right? So we have a curved line just in the center of his chest, curves up, down, just there. And then we have some fabric between that and his neck. So it's gonna go up, down, up, down. And then some that comes out around from the back of his neck, then here. Now we can see some neck muscles just coming down his neck here. And then some more armor coming out from behind his neck. So it comes out, down, like this. Do the same on this side, pretty much. Go from here, out, down, like so. So then we have two lines that come down into the middle, right? And they kind of join the center of this piece. So we'll do this first. It kind of goes down, around. Like so. And then these lines come down to here from this corner like so then we have a sort of a purple symbol inside here <clears throat> like so and then these lines just come Close that off. Right, so. Then we have like massive shoulder plates right here. So I guess we'll do them first. So. Powers down like this. And then it goes underneath. this way and kind of right across the top of his arm. And then we see a straight part coming up and then they come out to a point out here. So they'll go this way. And then this steps down and then this will come over to a point here. All right, and then there's like some lines inside. Make a line there, another one here, something coming from this corner, and then something like say there. Then we do this basically over here. So we go same sort of thing. Go diagonal. comes down and then we go to our point say here and then this comes up and around like so and then we have some more sort of 3d kind of lines direction lines like that another one here another one here like so so then, right, so his arms, so he's got like straight line coming down here for ar more armor, another armor place. And then this will come down around, back 
up and then this goes underneath another sort of triangular section here so there down to there and then we have a line coming across here and then a line coming across here and then we have this kind of purple symbol like a water drop turned sideways same on the other side, pretty much, right? So we got this triangle sticking down here. And then this shape curves around. We bring it straight up. And then we have a line coming across here, here, and a water droplet symbol there then it's body armor so curves down that way body armor curves down that way here and then we have some fabric on his arms just goes pretty much straight down that way go some folds on it straight down there Fold line going that way. Some lines inside here, lines inside there. And then we have an arrow sort of pointing straight up, coming up from the bottom of my page. Back down, line going down the middle. And then we have a purple symbol just inside his chest with lines all coming out, right? So start like this, a V. And then we will curve a line down off the page and you go the same way down here you might see the end of it but not really so this curves that way this curves that way how high up does this go stay going up to there And then curve line, curve line, and then it'll come down there. Down that way. Another side to it, because it's it's colored in purple. It isn't actually drawn in with black line, it's just done with purple line. So if you wanted to color it purple, you know, you could do draw it with a purple pencil or don't do any black ink on it. Doesn't really matter. You can if you want. But it goes up this way. It's kind of like a spider or something. Oh my god, Gilgamesh is Spider Man. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything. That's how to draw Gilgamesh from Fate Zero. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.